Welcome back. I figured I might as well do Mission 41, a Proxy War Without End. So in this one, I, according to this, I have to eliminate the CFA armored column. I don't know if I should take the Brennan, because the Brennan would be great against people, especially who have armored, like, body suits or whatever, jug kind of suits, whatever. And then, uh, but I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about using an RPG, because... The Brennan would be great for, like I said, infantry, against armored infantry. And then if I put like five bullets in each each armored vehicle, it would disable them. But then, I don't know. If I do the RPG, you could kill all the people instantly. But then I'd be found instantly. I should be spotted instantly. But then I'd also be able to take out the armored vehicles in more shots. I mean, in one shot. Anyways, um, so let's see how it goes. I think I'm just going to go with this set up with the Brennan uh, and I'm gonna try the ATB mine that's the anti kind of vehicle mine I'm gonna try that I've never tried that yet so if I need it I'll just like set it down hopefully they'll run over it and it won't be easier for me that way all right uh, yeah this is the first time doing this try in the morning all right hopefully this won't go too badly and I be cool if I picked the right setup the right equipment to bring. The CFA are assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport. Your job is to wipe them out. Listen to the tape for the contract details. Just be aware that the column's commander served with 5 Commando, who later made a name for himself in South Africa's 32 Battalion. He's a hardened veteran, so don't take it lightly. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. Targets are now on the move. I sent the predicted route to your iDroid. Check your map. There's, oh crap, there's one one from there, two coming from that direction. Oh, shit. Be careful down there, boss. Okay, so I'm gonna get a set of mine there and there for these first two people. See how these things do against them. God, these guys are coming fast. Is it a road? Alright, so I'll be taking this road for sure. Slap this down. Oh shit, they're coming really fast. Oh my god. These guys are coming really fast. I gotta, gotta set up really quickly here. Shit. The what? Are they turning? Yeah, they're turning. I'll put down some more in case if, if they get this far. I don't think they shouldn't. They shouldn't get this far. If they get that far, that's a problem for me. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, I took out one armored vehicle. Let's see if that takes it out. That'd be really easy if it does. He's not. Oh shit, it's not dead. No way. Did it break it? Oh, it's not broken. Shit. Okay, so I need to send you out. And then there's that guy that I need to hold in over there. Boss, we have your targets. Check your eye droid for the details. So it seems tanks take two to two of them to get destroyed. And the armored vehicle there takes one to disable. So I need to pick up the other one I have, and I need to, I need to help out. Shit. I wonder if I have to take out all of them. I don't know what I have to do. I don't know what. Okay, so all of them are coming from that direction now. So now I gotta, now I gotta defend that direction. Why is this guy coming this way? Oh my god. That's not good. Did 
that thing coming this way? It's, yeah, it's gotta come this way. I'll be ready for it. Shit, that guy's getting really close. Oh my god. This tank, he's getting really close. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, uh, crap. Okay, that guy's not moving at the moment. I'll have to go at him because he's going to the airport right now as we speak. Did I kill it? I know I hit it. Oh my god! He actually is really accurate. Oh my god, this is intense. I think I missed that last shot. Yeah, that guy there doesn't seem to be moving, so I'm gonna go take out this guy here. See if I can sneak up on him. I hate that. Quiet, stop moving so I can tell you to stop firing. Okay, that guy's still not moving. So I'm gonna go for this tank in front of me. Shit, what is, is that? Oh my God, is that a helicopter? Oh my God, you're serious. I'm sorry, quiet. Please don't die on me. I just need you to keep distracting him for like another three seconds. Oh shit, did he take down the helicopter? Oh shit, quiet, got hurt. Oh my fucking no! Alright, I probably should have taken an RPG. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm getting shot through this thing. That makes sense, because it's a flimsy-ass tent. But, uh, I don't have any explosives on me. Die, 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 shit! Okay, I killed it. That's cool, that's cool. I don't need any more trouble. Oh my, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Was that a mortar? Are you stupid? Snake, that was so snake, bullshit. Snake. Anyways, I, I have a checkpoint currently. Only three of them are alive. Thank God. I'm trying to take that tank out first.
I don't know from what I got blasted by, but I think I got blasted by a mortar or something, or it sounded like a tank, it sounded like a tank fired at me, but then I didn't have a tank on me. And then I took, I just took down the helicopter, so there's no way it could have, what, what shot me? Like I said, it sounded like either a mortar or a tank. I know the tank wasn't, there was no tank nearby. And then the mortars were like, I didn't see anybody near me, so the only thing I could have taken me down was a heli. And I didn't see it really do anything. I mean, take you, get on the ground, think about taking this guy out. But how? How am I? Oh, actually, the best way would be to use an art, uh, some C4 right now. But I can't make it that close yet. If I run, I'm gonna get killed. So I gotta try to walk to the heli, and it's gonna take off probably before I get there. Oh, that'd be pretty gangster, wouldn't it be? That'd be cool if this takes it down. Please do it, please do it. Oh, okay, didn't do sh Oh, it hurt it, it hurt it. Ooh! Genius, Kevin! All right, now I gotta take down that last armored vehicle there. And that's getting pretty close. Shit. This is actually a really fun mission. It's like, so exciting and jam-packed full of action. I really don't know what to do next. I don't have any more mines. The best thing I probably can do is run behind it and bolt in it. They're probably gonna see me. Come on, Snake, run! Run, Snake! Jeez, Snake can actually run faster than if he's catching up to this. <laughs> yeah, boy. Didn't even have to use my tanks or nothing. Fine, I thought I would have to get out and use my tank, but. I didn't have to, so that's pretty good. That was a pretty fun mission, I can't even lie. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Mission complete. Great work. Ooh, an extra rank. That's pretty good. Whoa. 135 bonus? Oh, that's great. Hey. It's pretty good, Kevin. Don't get any bright ideas. The quarters 
Officers are under full surveillance. Weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Do you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss, too. First, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homeland. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> Military oh, warlords. Shit. P.S. The army that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. Or had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready if you're dragged back here. Oh, shit. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> oh, shit, is it that metal here? No! What? This has been a good mission and a great cutscene. Oh man. Miller! Where's Ocelot? Is he dead? Yeah? Well, he can't be dead all the time. Ocelot's in Mail Gear Solid 4. Not like you! Oh, you little piece of Goodbye, shit. Goodbye, father. I don't need you anymore. Oh, you, you're a sneaker man. You're a snake. Who's that? Oh, shit. Snakes? Oh, you're a traitor! Jeez, I just flew off with my mech. Is Ralph really an accident? Or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys? Wait, who the hell's Ralph? The way he had to have been planning for this all along. Damn. Is Ralph the floating kid? Bidding farewell to the world. Oh man, that's some next level cutscene action. I was expecting the interrogation, but I didn't know that part, that that jump ahead where they talked to, where they showed Eli jumping in the mech. I didn't think that was happening right now. That's pretty interesting. I think this video is probably about 10 minutes, so might as well listen to some tapes, may record it. All depends if I put it in the video or if I put it in at all, whatever. Listen to some tapes, see what happens. Whoa, I'm unlocking a lot of stuff. I like it. Whoa, we got the praying mantis. Sick. Shout out to the B&B Corp. Huh. Still no sign of him. We don't know if the chopper pilot is alive either. What chopper pilot? Wait, like Pequod? You can't kill Pequod. Pequod's invincible. Also, regarding our concerns about Eli, I finished looking into whether or not he's a You son of a bitch! You can't kill Pequod! I have an answer. Alright, so I'm gonna listen to those tapes. So we'll look at the children escape and then the the main tapes. The Kaz Burger we don't have to listen to. So I think let's look at the Eli one first because it's probably gonna talk about his DNA. Because I think I remember her hearing he's like a clone or something or somebody. Boss, we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests. We can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet. But the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is zero percent chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. Oh, so they're looking it's for if son. they're the clone. But no, we already know who's a clone. Liquid and solid make It was twelve years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli 
AI isn't your clone. But you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with them? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. But no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's going to tell us that himself, we'll need to get him to open up more first. Alright, so I'm going to go on the helicopter and listen to the rest of the tapes. Hopefully Pequod's still with us. Fucking he used in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. We got the details on tape. You're gonna wanna hear this. Oh, you s Huey, you stupid kid. You're stupid, Huey. Oh my god, I'm gonna slap you. Alright, so we've gotta listen to some of these tapes. Maybe as well do some things in the background. Asshole. What was your goal in having the children repair Sahalanthropus? I just answered their questions. I had no idea they would actually try to fix it. How did they Daddy, actually figure out how to fix that thing? Can you imagine a child piloting it? Oh, sure. Easily. It wouldn't work. Well, I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It... Who did you try? Uh, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. His name was, uh, Hal, wasn't it? I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahalanthropus. You used him in your experiments. He wanted to get in. You passed. It was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. Is there no main mission? Changing your life. They said there's main missions, but I don't see any new ones. Yeah, I don't see any new missions. Huh. I wonder if that means I have to listen to stuff first. All the time because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you really? You're not a victim, and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. Ooh. The real world doesn't Objectified. make you suffer. It's the other way around. Skullfix. Real name unknown. Born in Hungary. More specifically, northern Transylvania, after it reverted to Hungary. Hey, Transylvania. While he was young, the country allied with Germany as part of the Axis powers. But later during the war, it came under Soviet occupation. The Hungarians struggled for independence, but the Soviets came down. Hard. Just like he said, time and again, the country was ruled by a foreign tongue. When he was a young boy, he lost his native language. The bedrock for any developing child. Please his country, his family, his face, his identity, everything was stolen from him. All he had left was his skull. Dang. Skullface first tried his hand at espionage during all the chaos from the war. Agents, military officials, and soldiers who operated out of Hungary during the war vanished over the course of several months. This Soviet spy hunt rocked the counter-intel world. Mysterious fatal illnesses, accidental deaths, drownings, people having strokes behind closed doors. Just like Stalin, no one knew who was behind it. But all you need to do was look for who had the motive. They were all taken out by a man without a face. And now we've got an idea of how he did it too. He got revenge for his people, but he wasn't finished. Skullface defected to the West, eventually ended up with the SAS. 
That's where he met Zero. It's possible he began planning this whole thing back then. It's hard to say. In any case, Zero made him his XO. He always did have a thing for oddballs. But this one was set to lead a unit no one else would know about. When Zero created Fox, he also formed XOF as a support team. An unconventional special forces unit designed to support Fox, make it stronger, with Skullface given the orders. Zero never even told the boss about it, nor the CIA, naturally. If Fox was Zero's silver bullet, XOF was the recoil when he pulled the trigger. Just like Newton's third law. While you were with Fox, Skullface was operating behind the scenes. Sometimes as your backup, sometimes as a mole or a scout, sometimes as your cleanup crew. 26.8 still. Making sure the mission succeeded and that you survived. We only have his word to go on, but Skullface's goal was revenge against those who use language to subjugate people. Those corrupting a people's identity by forcing a new tongue on them. Those using the power of language to control information. Naturally, that set his sights on Zero. To Zero, English was simply the most convenient code. But to Skullface, English was a parasite. And by eradicating it, he'd stop the world from being eaten away. If that didn't work, he was ready to see the world scorched by nuclear fire. To save language, culture, and race from annihilation, he was willing to overstep the hands of the Doomsday Clock. That is, of course, if you believe anything he had to say. You know, when you brought back all the child soldiers who escaped, Eli knew they'd returned. Needless to say, nobody said a word to him. I guess they got a message to him somehow. Eli wasn't put in the corner in time out. He was locked up in that room, completely cut off from the outside world. Then how do you find out? It's only one possibility I can think of. The Soviet Union has been researching military applications for psi phenomena. Psi? Things like psychokinesis and ESP, extrasensory perception. You mean moving objects without touching them? Knowing what card somebody's holding up. Psychic powers? Come on. I thought that was just another bunch of disinformation aimed at the West. Just bear with me a second. One type of ESP is telepathy. It's the ability to know another person's thoughts through nonverbal means. You're saying Eli read our minds? It's the only idea that doesn't involve someone getting to him. <sighs> Ocelot. Look, Psy research isn't some hocus-pocus. It's all evidence-based, scientific. There's got to be another explanation. Maybe one of the kids stuck a note to your back. I hope that's the case. But I am convinced that they have, or Eli has, a connection to some force we have yet to identify. You better watch yourself, boss. How am I supposed to do that? If he is depending on something for help, well, that's his Achilles heel. If you can figure out what that something is, you might be able to use it against him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and the medical team is looking after the kids left on Mother Base. For the moment, they don't seem too panicked. But boss, get this. Eli got those kids to plot their armed uprising as a diversion. Also, he could steal Sahalanthropus and escape. That brat got us good. Set us up and knocked us down. And then there's that mystery kid who was with Eli. Those two working together, I'd say things won't be over for a long time yet. Should make a, a gun with 308s. Anyways, see you in the next episode.